evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an historic night of basketball. I'm Mouth McFadden, along with my gamey partner, Jimmy Edwards. And Jimmy, we're in for a treat tonight. Who doesn't love a treat, Mouth? I know I do. S'mores, ice cream, cake. The Tar Heels land another blue chip prospect, and we've got the scoop. Mouth has had an interesting path. He went to college, and he, he followed his um, passion for broadcasting. And I think his dream job is to be an on-air reporter, sports reporter. And which is awesome. Um, however, you know, as real life often works out, you come to find out it's not as easy as just showing up at a station and boom, you have a job. What I always liked about the, the journey of Mouth is it typically wasn't as accelerated as the other characters in high school. And so jumping ahead four years, did he go further than everyone? Or is he still chasing his dreams in a very authentic sort of 22-year-old way? Look, Alice, I think we got off to the wrong start. I just want you to know that I'm honored to be a part of your staff and I'm looking forward to working for you and learning. He comes up against this idea that to be an on-camera person, you know, if you don't have model looks necessarily, it may be difficult to convince, you know, those people up top that you belong there and that, and that you can really do it. You know, Mouth is chasing a career that is very looks driven, um, can often be looks driven. Um, and even though he's on the sports side of it, if he wants to be on camera or whatever, you know, he may run into some challenges along the way, and it doesn't mean it's fair, and it certainly isn't right, but it's good drama. I think it's a great story because um, it speaks to it speaks to his his passion and, and his desire and, and rising above, you know, what you know his genetics are and, and uh, doing the best he can. So I think it's very, I think it's very real and very interesting, and uh, it's going to go to a very uh, a very complex place. I also love the idea of just putting Mouth and Skills and the River Court guys in a you know a big collegey apartment. It's cool. It's it's the boys. You know they're they're playing video games and they're um, you know watching basketball. There's a lot of loitering um, on on the part of myself and Fergie. We crash there. We eat their food. We play their video games. It's a it's it's a good time. It's a party. It's milk fights. It's a milk water gun fight. It's, it's very fun and I managed to get drenched by everyone. They all teamed up on me for some reason. I was never the guy that you'd catch squirting water guns and pulling pranks and doing any kind of stuff like that, you know what I mean? So it's kind of nice that now I'm able to do those kind of things and you know, have that kind of fun with those guys. Everybody at 21, 22 has had to, you know, eat frozen pizzas and, and ramen and, you know, live off, live off uh, minimum wage for a while. So um, those were some of the best times I had. It was one of the coolest times of my life. You, you really feel um, enabled and, and like you, you don't know exactly what your plan's going to be. And that's kind of, it's scary in a way, but it's also really fun because you feel like there's a lot of possibilities. You know, he's got friends that are in the fashion world. He's got friends that are in the music world. He's kind of in the center, you know, and he's a kid who uh, knows what he wants and he's got a good heart, but he certainly sort of fits in. Um, and, I, you know, I think to have a character that's a mainstream kid who is still very unique in terms of his heart and his mind and what he's, what he's chasing in his life, I think that's great. I think that's what most kids are. 